This is Mike with Truck with Mike, Texas. I was a veteran of the United States Navy. I was on board a submarine during the Cold War. Ours was a fast attack submarine. Only one time did I ever tour a boomer. Boomers are missile boats. They're a lot larger than the fast attack submarines. They're meant to be stealthy and quiet and, you know, be a stable platform for launching missiles. But only one time did I tour one. I toured the USS Ohio, which at the time was, uh, it was the first Ohio class sub, but there were maybe less than a dozen or maybe less than 10. I don't know. There weren't so many back in the 80s uh, as there ended up being, but you know, that's because they were fairly new. Anyway, we toured the Ohio and Washington State when we were up there. Um, it was uh, pretty interesting to say the least. morning the uh, much larger control room was sim very similar other uh, although bigger wider they had a 44 feet beam uh, ours was 33 so it's a third again larger than ours width wise and so and, but the birthing, most of the birthing was midships around the missile silos. There are 24 missile silos. You walk in this area, it's just a long, it looked like Sherwood Forest. They called it Sherwood Forest. So that's what it looked like when you look down. It's like a whole bunch of trees on either side of you. And, uh, It's just really cool. Uh, but they had nine-man staterooms in between these tubes. So they had a room with three bunks, three bunks, three bunks. I got a camera hanging out. Thank you. The, uh, and they had, you know, a place to hang clothes and all sorts of stuff that we did not have on a fast attack submarine. So, I guess my question is to you boomer guys. If you've watched any of my videos, how different was y'all? I'm sure you did drills and stuff, but did you do drills like we did drills, like almost always? Or did you have downtime? What did you do on that downtime? Uh, I know you rotated ports where you you and another crew so you go in for three months roughly and then you know get off for three months what did you do during those times um i'm curious i think if i had had a missile boat to choose from when i got through with my school uh swap swap a uh, camera hanging out okay. thank you uh i think i would have chosen A missile boat just because I didn't know anything about them and I'm curious so I'm still curious uh, what was life like on a missile boat and let me know because uh, I you know day to day I imagine some things were the same but you know in general just the space, I mean, was unbelievable. Uh, I guess y'all, when you did a stores load, I think had enough space for your food built in as it was designed for that. Whereas we had to walk on it. 
if we're going out for 90 days. And did you all ever get extended beyond your 90 days? Like we did sometimes. I'm just curious. Uh, drop me a note. Let me know. Thanks for watching.